Hey, welcome back. Lazy here, and in this episode, we're going to be building and drifting this, the newly added Citroen DS23. And since it's winter, this is a perfect time to see if this is any good at being like a leaderboard car. So I'm going to engine swap, all wheel drive, full aero, and drag slicks. So let's jump in and completely ruin this thing. Okay, so for this build, I want to chuck a bunch of power at it, so the first thing I'm going to have to do is swap out the engine, and I want to go with the turbo rally, yep, seeing as though that's the only other option, and I'm going to go from front wheel drive to all wheel drive, boom, jumping into here, I'm going to go with the full aero kit, that way I have all the adjustability and downforce and everything, so, also, it's actually pretty decent, I'm not hating that. Jumping into here, we're going to need some drag slicks. Yep, sold. And for the tire width in the front and the rear, I'm going to max it out. Well, they're only 215s, so I'm okay with that. For the rims, I really don't care, so I'm just going to go with something light. Yeah, nah, they don't look good. So we'll go all the way down to the back here. And we'll go with the weds. May as well. For the rim size, I want to go up to 16s all round. Yep. 16. Sold. And for the front track width, yeah, I'll max it out. Okay, so now that's done, we can jump in here and we can fully max this out. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that awesome stuff. It's much appreciated. Cheers. While I was away, we hit 1,500 subscribers and I'm super stoked. I can't thank you all enough. All right, now we can jump in and upgrade the brakes. We're definitely going to need drift suspension and that looks awesome. Also, in the tune, you can go in and lower it even more. We'll go through, we'll smash it on the front and rear sway bars. I don't want to cage it and we'll come back and do the weight reduction last as always. Alright, so now we can just go through and max engine out. This should be pretty interesting as it has a similar wheelbase to the Aceto bubble car. It's just a lot longer, heavier and front engine. And now the engine is maxed out. We got 668 horsepower, 682 foot pounds. I can make that work. Once we put the weight reduction on, it drops it down to 2,337 pounds. Yeah. That's nice. We may have to munge a few straights, but that's all right. So there's the build done. Now let's jump over and check out the paint options this thing has available. Okay, so for the paint, we got options. I'm guessing we can two-tone this. So for the paint option one, we've got the main body. Yeah. I'm guessing for the paint option two, it'll have to be the roof. Yeah, just as I thought. Okay, so I want to keep this simple. For paint option number one, I really like that blue, but that bluish silver, uh, that, yeah, I really like that. So I'm going to go with that. And for the roof, I want to try and color match it to the body. Yeah, there we go. That spot on right there. I don't want to touch anything else but I do want to put on a tint. There we go. That actually looks a lot better than what I thought it was going to. A lot better. I'm actually starting to like this car. So I'm going to be using Sim Steering, and the tune we're going to be using is available to download. Here is the information if you want to give it a shot. Now let's go hit the needle climb.
arrived at your destination. Alright, so there we go. Almost 570,000 points. If we could put a bit more horsepower into this car, it would be an actual contender. I'm really surprised. But that's it for the video for today. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Laters.